Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find all the values of x that satisfy the given algebraic equation, both real and complex. Now, we can start this solution by combining these two fractions on the left-hand side into one single unit. Of course, we do that by multiplying this and this. So we have x squared multiplied by x plus 1 squared. Then we multiply this and this. That is going to give us x squared. Then we multiply this and this. And that is going to give us x plus 1 squared. And of course, this is still equal to 5 over 4. But you will see that by the time we open this bracket, we are going to have a term in x to power 4. But my aim for this tutorial is to solve this equation without having to solve a polynomial bigger than a quadratic equation. So instead of doing this, we are going to take a different approach. We are going to start with a very simple substitution. So let x be equal to d minus 1. This is going to take care of this polynomial in the denominator. Because when we rewrite this original equation in terms of d, we are going to have d minus 1 squared plus d minus 1 squared divided by d minus 1 plus 1 squared. And this is still equal to 5 over 4. Now simplifying this, we have d minus 1 squared plus d minus 1 squared divided by minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. So now in the denominator we have d squared and this is still equal to 5 over 4. Now since these two terms have the same power, we can combine them. We can write this left hand side as d minus 1 squared plus d minus 1 over d all squared and this is still equal to 5 over 4. Now further simplifying this left hand side we have d minus 1 squared plus d divided by d is 1 minus 1 over d and this is squared and this is equal to 5 over 4. Now when we open this bracket we have d squared 2 times d times minus 1 that is minus 2d. Then we have minus 1 squared which of course is equal to 1. Then here we have 1 squared, which is 1. 2 times 1 times minus 1 over d. That is going to give us minus 2 over d. And then we have minus 1 over d all squared. That is plus 1 over d squared. And this is still equal to 5 over 4. Now, tidying up this left hand side, we have d squared minus 2d plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 minus 2 over d plus 1 over d squared and everything is equal to 5 over 4. Now let us rearrange this. We have d squared plus 2 plus 1 over d squared plus we have minus 2d and minus 2 over d and everything is still equal to 5 over 4. Now let us look at this group of terms. This is equal to d plus 1 over d all squared because let us open up this we have d squared we have 2 times d times 1 over d that is 
2 times d times 1 over d. And then we have 1 over d squared. Of course, you know that this is going to cancel that, leaving us with d squared plus 2 plus 1 over d squared, which is exactly what we have here. Now, also, let us look at this. You know that we can factorize minus 2 out of this. When we do that, we have minus 2 into d plus 1 over d. And of course, everything is still equal to 5 over 4. Now, when you look at this, you will immediately see that this is a quadratic equation in d plus 1 over d. So, let d plus 1 over d be equal to y. With this substitution, this equation becomes y squared minus 2y minus 5 over 4 is equal to 0. And to get rid of this fraction, we multiply through this equation by 4. We have 4y squared minus 8y minus 5 is equal to 0. And of course, we can factorize this quadratic equation. The factors of 4y squared are 2y and 2y. And the factors of minus 5 are 5 and 1. Now, because this is negative, then 5 is going to be negative. When we multiply this by this, we have 2y times 1, that is 2y. And when we multiply this by this, we have 2y times minus 5, that is minus 10y. And minus 10y plus 2y is going to give us minus 8y. So you can see that from here, this quadratic equation can be factorized as 2y minus 5. multiplied by 2y plus 1 is equal to 0. And of, of course, from here, we have that either 2y minus 5 is equal to 0. From where we have that 2y is equal to 5 and y is equal to 5 over 2. Or 2y plus 1 is equal to 0. From where 2y is equal to minus 1 and of course y is equal to minus 1 over 2. So now we have two values for y. We have that y is either equal to minus half or 5 over 2. So what we do is to remember that y is equal to d plus 1 over d. So in essence what we have found is that Either d plus 1 over d is equal to minus half or d plus 1 over d is equal to 5 over 2. Now, in the first case, we have that d plus 1 over d is equal to minus half. To get rid of this fraction, we multiply through this equation by d. d times d is d squared. 1 over d times d is 1, and minus half times d is minus d over 2. Rearranging this equation, we have d squared plus d over 2 plus 1 is equal to 0. We cannot factorize this quadratic equation, so we are going to solve by completing the square. Now, the first thing we do is to move this constant term over to the right-hand side of the equation. When we do that, we have d squared plus d over 2 is equal to minus 1. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to add the square of half the coefficient of d to both sides of this equation. Of course, the coefficient of d is half. Half of half is 1 over 4. 
the square of that is 1 over 16. So we are going to add 1 over 16 to both the left hand side and the right hand side of this equation. When we do that, we have d squared plus d over 2 plus 1 over 4 squared is equal to minus 1 plus 1 over 16. Because remember, 1 over 16 is equal to 1 over 4 squared. Now, when you look at this left-hand side, you will see that it's a perfect square. So we take 1d and we take 1, 1 over 4. And then you square both of them because when you open this bracket, this is exactly what you're going to have. And this is equal to 16 times minus 1 is minus 16. Minus 16 plus 1 is minus 15. So on the right hand side of this equation, we have minus 15 over 16. Now, of course, you can see that the next step to solving this equation is to take square root of both sides. When we do that, we have that d plus 1 over 4 is equal to the square root, of course, plus or minus the square root of minus 15 over 16. But of course, you know that this is equal to the square root of 15 over 16 multiplied by the square root of minus 1. And of course, we know that the square root of minus 1 is equal to i. So we have that this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 15. The square root of 16 is 4 multiplied by i. So we have that d is equal to minus 1 over 4 plus or minus root 15 over 4i. So you can see that we've gotten two values for d. That is minus 1 over 4 plus root 15 over 4i or minus 1 over 4 minus root 15 over 4i. And in the second case, we have that d plus 1 over d is equal to 5 over 2. Now, to get rid of these two fractions, we multiply through this equation by 2 times d. d times 2d is 2d squared. 1 over d times 2d is 2. And this is equal to 5 over 2 times 2d is equal to 5d. Rearranging this quadratic equation, we have 2d squared minus 5d plus 2 is equal to 0. We can factorize this quadratic equation. The factors of 2d squared are d and 2d, while the factors of 2 are minus 2 and minus 1. When we multiply this by this, we have minus d. And when we multiply this by this, we have minus 4d. And minus 4d minus d is going to give us minus 5d. So we have that the factors of this quadratic equation are d minus 2 and 2d minus 1. And of course, this is equal to zero. Now, of course, from here, you know that this simply means that either d minus 2 is equal to zero from where d is equal to 2 or 2d minus 1 is equal to 0 from where 2d is equal to 1 and d is equal to half. And now that we have calculated all the values of d, the last part of the calculation will be to find the values of x that satisfy the given equation. We know that x is equal to d minus 1. So when d is equal to half, x is going to be equal to half minus 1, which is minus half. When d is equal to 2, 
x is going to be equal to 2 minus 1, which is equal to 1. And for the conjugate pair, when d is equal to minus 1 over 4 plus or minus root 15i over 4, x is going to be equal to minus 1 over 4 minus 1. But we are going to write 1 as 4 over 4. Then you have this. That is plus or minus root 15 over 4i. Of course, minus 1 over 4 minus 4 over 4 is equal to minus 5 over 4 plus or minus square root of 15 over 4i. So these are the four values of x that satisfy the given equation. Two of the values are real, while two of them are complex. And with that, we come to the end of today's tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.